You want to have it all. You want to live in Ventura with the cool weather and the beaches and the mountain sides. But also you want new construction, luxury living at its finest. Well, come with us today. We're going to tour a few different developments that are going on here. I'm Bart. I'm Kaziah. And we're living in Ventura County, your local licensed real estate agent. Most of the new construction going on in Ventura are small boutique builders. They know how to do it correctly. That also means that they're building smaller complexes with fewer units and higher HOAs because there are fewer people paying for the coverage that is needed for a new development. Keep in mind also, if you're interested in new construction in general, it's so important that if you contact the developer, either through email or phone, you'll want to register your real estate agent like us right away. Otherwise you can lose your ability to have someone represent you. A, that if you don't have someone representing you, that doesn't mean you're gonna pay less for the unit. And B, it ends up being kind of like if you go to court without a lawyer, you can do that, but you're gonna have a much better result in court if you're having someone represent your best interests. Like us. <laughs> you are gonna to wanna to stay to the end of this video because we are going to give you a sneak peek of some new construction that is coming to Ventura soon. We are going to be touring the Villa San Clemente here and it's located right next to Main Street. As you can hear, it's a little noisy. The upside to that is you're gonna have lots of shops and restaurants right here, including Cafe Facel, which is coming soon, an amazing bakery. This building is Spanish style architecture at its finest. We're at the gated entrance and each unit has what's called a door bird. So from your unit, you'll be able to allow access to anyone you want to come to visit you through this gated entrance. And it even comes with an app for your phone. So you could be at work. If you have a UPS delivery, you can allow access to the delivery person so they can drop the package at your door. Some of the nice features in this complex is you're gonna have your very own two car garage, which has EV charging availability. And each unit is gonna have a patio with ocean views and also water and gas hookups on the patio. And at the very top of the building, you're gonna have a rooftop deck that has a fireplace, sitting area, barbecue area, and is coming soon um, hot tub with views of the ocean. Just amazing panoramic views. As you enter this thick mahogany custom door, so pretty. We're gonna have you listen. So quiet. The reason for that is because this builder went above and beyond. He put in 400 series Anderson windows and in between the units you have extra insulation so next door your neighbor might be uh, blasting ACDC and you won't hear it is what they say. On the top floor you don't hear as much but as you get onto the middle floor where the bedrooms are you can hear a little bit more noise from Main Street. Okay, we're heading across the street to Portalvo condos and townhomes, which range from around 700,000 to 1.1 million. Some of the units back up to a less busy side street and some of them on the other side back up to a commercial space area. Now the building that's up against Main Street looks more commercial-esque and it's actually multi-use with some commercial on the main floor and then condos on the next two floors. And then you have the Spanish style townhomes that are behind that and try to fit in more with the idea of a single family home neighborhood. Some of the shared elements that stood out to us include wide plank wood engineered flooring. Each of the residents has two parking space and a shared parking garage. Also the units come, we were told, with a stackable washer dryer 
in a fridge. The other things that kind of stood out to us um, are that the kitchens are on the smaller side. So if you like to cook with somebody else, then this might not be the right place for you. And they also have aluminum double pane windows, which lets in more sound than the Anderson's windows. You might be wondering why are the HOA fees so high over $700 for both complexes? I'm taller than you know. <laughs> and a big part of that is the real estate commission has increased the percentage that has to be withheld and with reserves. It's 25% more. Your HOA fees do pay for some extras at the San Clemente uh, with the spa and the rooftop deck. And we were told that the HOA fees here at Portalvo do cover water. Some of these units do have limited view of the ocean and hillside views. It's lots of windows. We're on the east side of Ventura right now at the only construction site for new detached home builds called Del Sol. And this is a Shea home building site which has three different phases. The first phase was the townhomes and then the second one is detached homes and kind of the smaller building. And then the third one which opens on August 26th is going to be larger detached homes that some of them might even have a driveway. As they told us, this is all about the size of the home, not the size of the lot. When you drive through here, you might feel it's more like cluster homes because they're so tightly packed. But on the plus side, when you're going to the bathroom and you run out of toilet paper, just knock on your neighbor's window and you can get another roll. We're at the model homes at the Del Sol right now. And I wanted to point a couple of different features out and talk about how they differ from the more boutique builders. So the first thing is in this unit, because it's a model home, you're gonna see a lot of the high-end touches, okay? So right here is a beveled edge. For the wall, it's like nice curved edge. So when you're walking by, you're not as likely to hurt yourself. But also in the bathrooms, this is fiberglass. It's not real tile. So it's not going to last as long as if you had a tile um, shower. So come with me to the bedroom. The size of this bedroom is larger. It's going to have a larger bathroom because these are detached homes versus a townhome or a condo. want to point out even though this is the model home come down with me so whenever you're looking at new builds you also want to make sure that they don't skimp on the baseboards because right here already you can see wear and tear at the bottom of the baseboard and this this is a brand new model home so that's just one example of many of the issues that can happen with a new build that you wanna make sure you have a real estate agent to come around with you and document before you close on your house. Another thing that you really wanna do if your house is in the process of being built is do a frame inspection. And that's where you wanna have an inspector come in and walk through and make sure that the plumbing and the electrical and the vents are all correct and up to code. You definitely can fit in more than uh, one person in this kitchen. It's just beautiful. There are a lot of nice touches that Shay has done and lots of windows and open spaces, well thought out design plans. I mean, this is what they do for a living. However, model homes are always going to show you the best of the best and even goes down to the lot. So when you... The lot size. <laughs> It is. Even goes with the lot size. So you'd be paying a premium for this lot size, which has a nice patio seating area to take out and have your friends. However, the lot that you may purchase might have a lot smaller lot. 
In the Satakoi neighborhood, you're going to notice that it gets hotter here, but also you're going to have sunnier mornings because there's not as much of that overcast from the ocean. This is roughly what a million dollars will get you base price, not adding all of those additions for the model home here on the east side for new construction. It's a lot bigger than Midtown. We're at the townhomes in Del Sol, and as you can see, it's just again well planned out, well thought out. More than one person can fit in the kitchen. And if you're doing apples to apples, then you're gonna get a bigger bang for your buck. Townhomes here start in, 700, in the 700s, whereas the 700,000s for the Portalvo, you are looking at a condo. Now, I do wanna mention that as we were walking over to the townhomes, you could still hear the freeway uh, around here, but it wasn't so bad that you wouldn't enjoy being outside. This complex will have a swimming pool and your HOA is going to be a lot less because you have a lot more people living here. The master suite isn't as big as like the detached homes or the San Clemente ones. You have this beautiful large bathroom. In all of new construction, you're going to see in the lower priced units smaller bedrooms. But if you have a kid, you know, you just put one in here or your in-laws when they're visiting. In the Satakoi neighborhood, which is where this complex is located, it has a whole different feel than Midtown. And you're still 15 minutes to the ocean and a hop, skip, and a jump to downtown. We're gonna take a look at the proposed new construction going on in Ventura. One thing to note here is that there are no proposed plans to build more single story detached homes. So if you're looking for that, you're gonna to wanna to contact us because there are some that are being built on the hillside from the lots that were burnt down in the Thomas fire. There's also new construction around Ventura that, that offers that single story living. That's just a few of the new constructions going on in Ventura. And so if you want to know more about all the other um, construction going on in Ventura, give us a call. Yeah, give us a call. We could do personalized video just for you as well, answering all of your specific questions. That's how this one started. <laughs> yeah.